And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of Shadow President. Last time we left off, I was getting super frustrated. Zero's playing this. Zero's always plans games that I love, but then I hate, then I love again eventually. So hopefully today we're going to go back to the love part. Um, remember this game is part of the 2015 Summer Game Blitz. Um, I was looking over a few things and letting the time run, and I went back to the filter, and I may have showed this before, but uh, the desire to increase power, if you look, green is ruthless, and look at all these people that are aggressive. Even Mexico is aggressive. But the highest person is Iraq. Well, if I click on somebody else, it's Iraq. See, they're green right there. Right there. They're green. Um, so we've got to stop that. Um, I'm letting troops build up still. I think on October 25th I'll double check and see what we have. Um, I'll try not to make the mistake of throwing troops into Iraq. I, like I said, it's really wonky and pushing me for peace envoys and stuff. Um, not sure what the Soviets are doing, but it, you know, it's, it's typical Soviet Union shit. Um... I guess it's the same shit that Vladimir Putin's pulling today, and they're called Russia. So um, you just got to be kind of a uh, you gotta you know just uh, watch them a little bit. Um, I mean, their their trade status. But I, one thing I think that prevents this game from really getting involved is it's the time is going a little slow. Um, and you know, I'm sure I could speed that up with the DOS box thing, um, but I really don't want to. Um, I do like this slow pace that's got it. We have more time to talk. And I think that might be part of my problem is I'm one of those people that's very uh, go, 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 get it done, get it done, you know, you know pushing yourself. Um, and I think I'm going to have to like chill on that for a little bit and uh, relax, let the troop build up. Uh, I think I already let the day that I was going to do something pass by. But let's just double check and see if I have actually built my troops up uh, let's let's do some advice on this I'm not sure okay so they don't want us to do that but anyway I think we knocked out their nuclear military military. but yeah look at this now we are they built back up to full strength somehow um, we've lost a hundred thousand people for this uh, but we're gonna outnumber them by like close to two hundred and something thousand I put more troops in Kuwait as you can see there, 200,000, 1,100. Turkey has almost a half a million. Um, I mean, we should be able to push in now. Um, should. Uh, let's wait till we'll attack on November 1st. Um, and hopefully, you know, that works out. Uh, here on October 28th, I'm going to check my budget. Let's see uh, what that looks like. Are we paying off anything? Uh, no, oh, we're down to negative 98. That's that's not bad at all. Where projected growth is 4.7 now. I wished it would hurry and grow, but that takes time. That takes years. Like I said, since we started this Let's Play, I'm on episode 8. I don't think we've went, what, a couple of months? So, yeah, that's one of those things. Um, I was wanting to check on Mexico. Uh... What are we, are we sending them anything? Because I think we could send Mexico a lot more. And I would like to send them a lot more. So uh, they'll keep their people there. I definitely want to spy on them. Uh, we'll give them, yeah, the, since Soviet Union's picking on them, I'm going to give them a lot of that, and I'm not giving them anything. So there we go. Let's see what they say about this. Done, done, done. Done, done. Okay, they, they took everything. So, that's uh, quite interesting. But, uh, like I said, uh, Canada, do you need anything? Since I'm handing out money. Um, they don't need... Oh, wait, they need a... On this. Well, we could actually send you this. I'll take care of Canada. Oh, I didn't want to take... Oh, yeah, we actually needed to go that high. There you go. I'll pay for your intelligence. 
and you need military aid uh let's give you a half a million a half a billion because if i can keep them strong we'll be in good shape there you go canada all my canadian viewers you better tell your friends because look i'm actually doing this um oh okay that's crazy well, maybe our neighbors to the north will be able to help us out. That's my goal, anyway. A big conglomerate of all these countries just ready to destroy uh, anybody who gets in our way. Monroe Doctrine to the highest degree, baby. That's, that's my goal. Monroe Doctrine, push them, ready to go. All right, let's let the time tick. There are 31 days in October. We'll let the Iraqis celebrate Halloween. And then we'll show them that the ghost was not a ghost, but a bomb. <laughs> Good God, look at their ambition now. That red bar on the right, the yellow is the, the average in the world. Their red bar is up there, as opposed to look at the Soviets is lower. China's lower. We're obviously lower. We set the standards, so that's where we're at. But they are good God. They need to be. They need to be knocked down. Somebody needs to. They're more concerned about foreign spies. Oh, that's China. My bad. All right. Well, they're still worried about foreign spies too. All right. I'm gonna go with uh, 11 a.m. as the attack time on them. Let's go to the regional view. Are you ready for this? Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Processing social events. Um, did anything change? Our budget? Everything seems to be pretty good. Oh my god, my projected popularity is 57%. It's really going to go up once I evade here. All right. What's their advice on entering the war room? Ah, uh, screw you guys. You know what? My gamers Attention. want me to stop this. Military data link now secure. All right, we're gonna attack them. Do it. Status report: the United States is now attacking Iraq with 150,000 troops, 200,000. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Saudi Arabia is gonna help. Is I hope that other people are going to help. See, look at those numbers. It just compiles. That doesn't make sense. Latest polls, America are reacting to your invasion of Iraq. So they like when I invade Iraq. But these casualties, it like resets their casualties, but it doesn't reset mine. That doesn't make sense. What? It doesn't oh my god I don't get it it makes no fucking sense it doesn't I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I have no idea why that is doing that we surrendered in less than a day. There are people watching this, maybe from Iraq, that are laughing their ass off at that right now because they know that's bullshit. Oh. <sighs> Soviet Union's getting involved. I don't... I wonder, can I just do a coup d'etat? Assassinate leader. What's your advice on a coup d'etat? You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. <laughs> what do we got to lose now? I mean, really. I mean, we're, we're America. We've destroyed our... My popularity is 55%. I don't know how. I'm the only president in the world to lose a war in less than a day. Oh, my popularity went down 2%. That's great. 
I just, I don't know, gamers. I it, it is buggy for us to lose. So it calculated that we lost 213,000 soldiers in a day. What do we do? Attack each other? That's the only way that would happen. I... But yeah, there's reset down to 900 or like 200. It just, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. Are y'all going to war with Libya? Oh, Algeria, not Libya. Libya's right here. My bad. Tunisia, then Western Sahara. Is it Western Sahara on here? Oh, yeah, it is. Then Mauritania, Mali. Yes. Do it. Overthrow Saddam Hussein. The coup d'etat attempt that you... Oh well. I'm sure my popularity will tank then. No, it went up! <laughs> oh. Statement that Iraq is... You ah, well, I'm sure people will be pissed off. Who really cares? Nothing changed. Nothing changed. <laughs> I am sad that we just couldn't do anything. I wish it would have had a different turn. Me trying to get involved in Saudi Arabia. What's Iraq doing now? Are they going to threaten Yemen? Well, to get to Yemen, they have to go through Saudi Arabia. What kind of funding do we have in Saudi Arabia? Let's give them economic aid, even though they really don't freaking need it. I mean, they have enough oil to take care of everything else. Let's see, they took it, they took it, they took it. Good job, good job. Yes, yes, they accept more. All right, let's see what's gonna happen in the world now. Let's just sit back and chill and wait. We'll see if anything's happening. Canada has no ambition. Uh, looks like Mexico's going down. Cuba, what are you doing? That's probably Haiti or Dominican Republic, yeah. Cuba would be right there. I can't even stay on it. No, their ambition's about normal. Australia, you have any ambition? No. China? Yeah, China's got a little. They have a little. My popularity. Ooh, up to 60%. Congratulations, in a little danger. <laughs> okay. So we lost, but the people like us. And uh, maybe it meant that they surrendered, not us. I don't know. Makes little sense. See, it's going up even more now. I don't know. India, what do you all got going on? Can we do a uh, cultural exchange with you all? Let's try it. Let's try to build some relations with uh, India. If I was current president, I would definitely be building up a relation with India. They are this, like, the open doorway. They are the Normandy beach of Southeast Asia. Of course, I say that, and there's a mountain range, you know, kind of in between them and China, but still. Better do 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 North Korea doing? We haven't really picked on them any. Oh, good lord. They have some pretty high... Uh... Let's send a peace envoy there. Just see what we can do. Calm the waters. So yeah, all you need to know is if you're president, you know, I guess we can lose the war and still be okay. I mean, it's like the war... Uh oh Intelligence reported Soviet Union initiative statement. Yes! Go to war with each other. I don't care. Blow each other up.
let's see, where else do I have troop station? Uh, we've got, might need to put some more here just in case something does break out. Let's see, let's enter the war room for South Korea. Attention, military data link, now. Let's, um. Uh, Let's put 75,000 in South Korea, just in case. Or maybe 60,000. Okay, good. Alright. I just want to put them there in case something does break out between them, and then we can have a little wall of protection on Japan there. So, that's my thought anyway. I'm really trying to figure out why they put the rivers on this uh, game. I, I guess they were trying to break the monotonous... Uh, oh, my. Optimus negotiate. Yeah, sure. Yep, yep. Mark that out. Circle this. Good, good. Oh, nope. Failed. Shit. Ambition's five. So it's less than, uh, it's less than Iraq, but I don't know. I still don't know about this. This is... This makes me so mad. I just... I don't know. Look, they don't have any bio stuff over here. We got rid of all that. Yeah, no nuclear. Oh, good God! Leadership effectiveness is zero. We are... I don't know about that. Is that it's probably because I have so many troops deployed. What do you have to say, honey? You want to you want something? No, nothing new. It's probably because of the anxiety levels where I have so many troops out there. That's my guess. Is that the answer? Probably not. But that's what I'm going to go with. Now what I'm going to do is... Oh. No. Well. Yemen, you stay strong. You stay strong. What I'll do is after this episode, I'll wait a couple of days to see what you all are saying about it. And maybe some of you know what's wrong with the war aspect and if somebody can give me an update then the remaining amount of time which i think there'll be about an hour left so that's probably two episodes uh we'll try to go in and fix that but for right now i'm going to leave my troops deployed and uh we'll, we'll kind of go from there i mean but like i said maybe some of you have the answer maybe you've played this before but eh, there's just i don't know come on india let's let's be friends ah excellent I guess we have basic police state. That makes sense. So I don't know. Well, the big thing is, is we knocked out all the military weapons of Iraq. Like if we look at us, see over here we have, each one of these missiles represent how many you have. So we have a bunch. Um, if you look at Iraq, they started with, I think, they didn't have nuclear missiles but they had missiles and I think we knocked out that so I mean have we made the world a better place not at all not a freaking bit <laughs> uh, we've we've uh, yeah pure anarchy go on in the world is this why is this froze there we go. I was like, why, why is the time not moving? That didn't make sense at all. I think it confused me. I didn't know what to do.
Well, we're, we're approaching Thanksgiving. Sadly, a bunch of our soldiers are going to be overseas, about a million of them. So we have half of our military deployed into the Middle East. Come on. Damn each other! We have been monitoring the Soviet Union. One of our agents has discovered a large budget. You should also be aware we have detected... Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, well, we'll send peace envoys. Do I think that it will work? I really don't care. But, uh, what's their, uh... Desire to increase power. Um, aggressive and and reserved. Ah, that does make sense. I mean, it's Soviet Union, the ones who are aggressive, I guess. We'll have to see how that pans out. We could have a Russo-Chinese war. Maybe we'll have to redeploy our Middle East soldiers somewhere else. Maybe. Maybe. But my popularity is around 60%, so I'm happy about that. Happy, happy, happy. What's going on? Did you dry up the Nile? E oh. I don't know why Italy and Egypt are fucking around with each other. America. Oh, what's India doing now? You saying you love us? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Press Secretary has announced an agreement to strengthen ties with India. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, that's fine. See, I knew opening doors would help with India. They want to be our friends. They also want to have support in case shit goes down north of them. The Soviets were picking on Japan. That failed. Now they're picking up. I received a report that said... I was like, I didn't see where the other thing lit up. But you can barely see Denmark on here, so that makes sense. Man, that thing makes you jump every time you're like, oh shit, what happened? Now that we're calming down because of our troop buildup. Let's go ahead and check our budget again. See if anything's at yeah, minus 98. So we're, we're not losing as much. 68%. Crazy. That's pretty crazy. I will take that though. So I don't know what to do with that rack now. I mean, we're obviously not going to be able to. Let's incur, promote human rights reform. Well, let them resent it. That's all I gotta say. Oh, what's China doing? China has nuked Canada! I'm just joking. He failed an attempt to supply arms to rebel forces in Taiwan. Oh, I forgot about Taiwan down here. China, you got enough problems to the north. You need to leave Taiwan alone. They're like Britney. Leave Britney alone! I'm such a blabberbox tonight. I don't even know what the problem is. It's just blah, 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 blah. But I want to nuke this country. I want to do this. Uh, yes, peace envoy. Be peaceful. Love each other. Stop being such dicks to China. I can't believe I said that, but... Oh, shit. Their ambition's below five, but still, that's... Maybe we'll have more success in China. <laughs> War. I would laugh my ass off if that's what it said. Uh, no. There's diplomatic relations. All right, let's see what we can do here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah, sh Twice in a row. So China's ambition is 3.9. Soviets is 4 point something. But uh, Iraq was like 6. That's just crazy. Crazy talk. 
Okay, you can see the ambition level there. Down a little. Down even more. Pooh! Skyrocket. Of course, our, been, our ambition... Our ambition, yeah, it's low too. We're at in the middle. We set the standard for ambition in the world, Americans. I just called everybody out there that watches Americans. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get shit on that in the comments. I don't care what country you're from. Everybody should believe that they're... Ooh. Congratulations in the latest... Thank you, baby. I just... I still feel like something's... I just... Something's wrong. It just doesn't make sense. Attention. Military data secure. Just doesn't. I don't. I don't know. Just it feels like the war's still going on, and they're supporting me because of that. But Americans are reacting to your support for a coup attempt in Iraq. Wow. Oh, they're happy that I tried to overthrow them. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you, Americans. I knew you all had sense. Um, uh, let's see. What's yours? Taking this out. Who gives a shit? They hate us already. Right. Uh, human rights reform. Yes. <laughs> oh wow that's that's funny we're just picking up this is the pick on our rack show we'll have to see where it goes from there but anyway gamers i think i'm going to end this episode now i think we got a couple more episodes left in the pipe but i'm going to wait and see your all's comments about what directions we should take um yes what's this Oh god, we just sent a laser beam down and just destroyed South America somehow. You all just zoomed in on the wrong country. We have modified our intelligence but discovered changes. Uh oh, who are they picking on now? We've been monitoring Iraq. According to our intelligence, they have been steadily increasing their military spending. Large troop. Oh, oh, well, here's the last thing we're gonna do then before Saudi Arabia. Attention, military data link now secure. We need to put more troops here. Let's put a half a million in Saudi Arabia. And, uh... I know I've got troops strung out everywhere, but I feel, I feel like we have to. Okay, there we go. But we're ready to defend Saudi Arabia. What do you all need money-wise? Militarily. Yeah, we're already paying for pretty much your whole budget. France and they are. Yeah, so they should be in good shape. All right, gamers. I'm going to end it here. We'll see what happens. Leave some comments. Let me know if you know anything and what we should do because Iraq's getting ready to go somewhere again. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.